Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, Saul. Hi, Mario. Jancy. Hello. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Marlo. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Maybe Brian. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brian, please. And Abigail, your full name. And Martin, please, your full name, please. Thank you. Martin, copy your full name. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to start right now. Good class. Okay, give me a second. Here, right? Okay. To begin, we're going to make a review about the occupations. Occupations. Welcome, everybody, again. And let's make a review of the occupation. Look, what do you do? Are you a teacher? Are you a student? Are you a server? Are you a firefighter? Social worker? Listen to the audio, please listen. Page 53, exercise six, snapshot. What do you do? What's your job like? Listen and practice. I'm a server in a coffee shop. It's easy, but boring. I don't like my job much. I'm a firefighter. It's exciting and very dangerous but I like my job a lot. I'm a social worker. It's difficult and really stressful, but I love my job. I'm a florist. My job isn't very exciting, but it's pretty relaxing. I like my job okay. Okay, good. These are the opinions of some people and their occupation, right? Good. Now, Saul, can you read the, the first part, please? Again, read. I'm... I'm a server in a coffee shop. It's easy, but boring. I don't like my job, my job much. Thank you very much. Any question about vocabulary? Questions? Server is a waitress, right? A person who helps you in a restaurant or in a coffee shop. Easy is the opposite of difficult. Easy, difficult. Right? And boring. <sighs> boring, right? Not interesting. Not interesting. Okay, good. Five fighter. Jancy, can you read five fighter, please? I am five fighter. It's existing. Exciting. In, exciting. Uh, exciting. In very. Um, dangerous. Dangerous. But I like my hope a lot. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. It's positive, right? Good opinion. Good opinion. Dangerous. It's, for example, uh, Africa. Africa is dangerous, right? Okay. Uh, in the past, in the past, not today, but in the past, La Campanera, for example, was dangerous, right? Today, I don't know, but <laughs> dangerous. Okay. Now, social worker. Social worker. Jorge, please, can you read social worker again, please? Read. I am social worker. It's difficult and really is what do you say is stressful like this is stressful yes perfect okay Jorge. okay it's stressful but i love it, my job thank you very much difficult is the opposite of easy and stressful is stress you know it's it's not good right the social worker good uh, any question about vocabulary now maybe please can you read the flores maybe the florist. I am florist, my God. I am like very 
Wait, maybe. Wait. My job. My job. My job. Uh -huh. Isn't. Isn't very exciting. 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 Uh -huh. What is very very? I like my job. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're, maybe you're in a commercial center, no? <laughs> no, es que voy, voy saliendo del trabajo. Okay, good. That's okay. No problem. No problem. Continue, please. Bueno. Continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, maybe. Okay. So these are the opinion of people about their job. For example, I am a teacher. I like my job, right? I, I like my job very much. I like to work with the students. But some people consider their job not good, right? Okay. Now. Before to continue, I will pass the attendance list. I, I see today we have new students. I like that. Okay, uh, Ana Maria. Stay present, Ana Maria. Miss Martinez Santos. Yes. Ana Maria. Hello, welcome. Welcome <laughs> to the class. <laughs> okay, present. Okay, good. Uh, Ana Maria, welcome to the class. This is the second class, right? But yesterday, uh, you you couldn't connect, right? No se pudo conectar, I imagine. Sí, tu tuve problema. Okay, good. But welcome to the class. Uh, where do you live, Ana Maria? I live in Mexicanos. I sí. live in, in La Unión. Ah, in La Unión. Interesting. And how's the weather in La Unión? Is raining? Raining in La Unión? Yes. Yes, I imagine, right? So you you're next to the port. Está cerca del puerto. No. No, 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 no. It's it's far. It's far. Okay, good. But in La Unión, I like La Unión, especially the the volcano Conchagua. Conchagua is very nice. I like it. Okay. And 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 uh, where do you work? Where do you work? I work in Inversiones Educativas de Oriente. Okay, thank you. And the last question. What what food do you like, Ana Maria? Do you like pupusa, pizza, I like chicken. I like pupusa. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome to the class. Welcome. Good. Now, uh, Brian Andres. <clears throat> Mr. Orellana Mazariego? Sí. Okay. Say present. Brian, present. Uh, your camera is working, Brian. ¿Le, ¿Le está funcionando la cámara, Brian? Uh, ahorita, ahorita veo. Okay, good. Okay, we're, we're saying welcome to the new student, right? Estamos dando la bienvenida a los nuevos estudiantes. <laughs> okay. okay. Welcome, yeah, right? No, no, me, no le da. No me okay, la okay. okay. Let, let's wait, right? Esperemos entonces. Eh, lo que sí le voy a pedir, Brian, es que ahí donde dice participantes, me le da clic y a la par de su nombre, hay unos tres puntitos hasta el final. Le da clic y ahí le dice cambiar el nombre y me pone su nombre completo. Sería Brian Andrés Orellana Mazariego, ¿right? Ok, cambia el nombre. Brian... Mm -hmm. okay. Ahí me pone su nombre completito. Ok. Um, ahorita eh, somos en total 25 alumnos. Es un grupo bastante grande, así que espero que, que todos participen, ¿ok? Good. Vamos a esperar ahí a Brian. Ahí estamos, yeah. Brian. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Brian. Okay, Brian, okay. Uh, where do you live, Brian? I live in Mexicanos. And you? Uh, I live in Sonsonate. Sonsonate, nice. There are some people here in Sonsonate. Por aquí tenemos algunos compañeritos de Sonsonate también. Okay, Brian, and, and where do you work? Uh, I am... Um... I work. Eh, inversiones MR. Inversiones MR. Okay, very good. And uh, what is your favorite music, Brian? Your favorite music? Um, eh, cu my cumbia. Fe, my favorite music. Eh, my favorite music. Eh, pop rock. Uh, pop rock. 
punk rock. A punk rock. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Excuse me, Brian, but can you tell me one song, <laughs> one song, una canción que le guste de punk rock, rock please? A, a dance song de Blink-182. Ah, yes, I know. I know, I know the style, yes. Nice. <laughs> yes, I like it too. Yes, I like it. Very good. good. Thank you, Brian, and welcome yeah. to the class. Eh, tal vez despuésito poder chequear lo de la, de la cámara. Después ok, sí. ok. Yes, yes. So, pero, but welcome, welcome to the class. Good. Then, eh, Claudia. Cristian, Chris. Good evening, I'm here. Good evening. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Edwin. Mr. Flores Ramos. Okay, eh, Daisy Armida. Daisy. Present. Ah, welcome. Another new student, right? Otro estudiante nuevo, no, no estudiante, vamos a estrenar. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hey. Hello, Daisy is okay, or, or do you prefer mm. Armida? Daisy or Armida? Daisy. Daisy is okay, good. Okay, Daisy, well, welcome to the class. Eh, where do you live? Where do you live, Daisy? I live in Mexicanos. And you? Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Nice. Interesting, right? Okay. And, and where do you work? Eh, ¿Dónde trabajo? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, is this work in Monitech Security? Ah, okay. It's not Ayala y Alfaro, no. Sí. No. Ah, yes. Ayala sí. y Alfaro security, right? Sí. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you. And uh, what do you like to watch movies? Do you like to watch movies? Sinceramente, no, no, no me gusta ver ¿Eh? televisión. No, 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 no. <laughs> And go to the to the movies, ir, a, ir al cine, go to the movies, no. No. No, no. Only no. the popcorn, solo el popcorn y la soda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Daisy. Thank you. And welcome to the class. Qué bueno que, que está con nosotros ya. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, Edwin Alexander. Dagoberto. Present. Ok, thank you, Dagoberto. Just give me a second here. Permítame un segundito. Eh, permítame. Edwin no está todavía, ¿verdad? Ok, lo tenemos a Dago. Ok. En Gamaliel. Gamaliel. Ok, Glenda. Present. Okay, thank you. Griselda. Present. Thank you. Jorge. Jorge. Present. Okay, thank you. Jose Liceo. Josué Armando Castillo. Juan Carlos, ah, oh, sorry, José Armando, hello, welcome. Gracias. Eh, casi no le escuchamos, José Armando. Eh, ¿Puede conectar su micrófono? Hello. Sí, pero no sé si me escucha. Sí, ahorita sí le escuchamos, le escuchamos, ok. Welcome to the class, ahorita le pongo la asistencia, José Armando. Ok, good. Can I make some questions? ¿Puedo hacerle algunas preguntitas, José Armando? What, what do you prefer? ¿Josué o Armando? Sí. ¿Josué? Creo que le está fallando el micrófono, Josué. Eh, Josué, vamos a decir, ¿ok? Josué, where do you live, Josué? En la Unión. En la Unión, too. Nice. Excellent. And where do you work? Where do you work? Y 
in Liceo San Carlos. Liceo San Carlos. Okay, thank you very much. And what is your favorite sport, Josué? What is your favorite sport? For example, I like football, me. And you? Basketball, football, swimming. Running. Sorry? Swimming. Running. Running. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, welcome, Josué. Welcome. Eh, ¿Su cámara eh, le funciona también, Josué? Por... Está teniendo sí, fallo, ahí me imagino. Por las condiciones, creo que un poquito. Yeah, yeah. Ok, it's raining. Me imagino que está lloviendo fuerte ahí en la Unión. Sí, sí, va. Ah, sí. Bueno, vamos, en la medida que podamos, vamos a participar. Eh, a veces la cámara nos, nos baja un poquito la señal, ¿verdad? En esos casos, pues, vamos a apagar la cámara. En el caso de Josué, pues, ahorita le está fallando un poquito por las condiciones del clima. ¿verdad? En la medida, vamos a ver si le damos participación, Josué. En welcome. Bienvenido a la clase. Ok, good. Eh, Juan Carlos. Crisia. Presente. Ok, thank you. Marcela. Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Mario. Present, teacher. Marlon. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Martín. Martín. Por ahí vía Martín. Ok, maybe. Present. Thank you. Otmar. Roxana Maribel. Roxana Maribel. Saúl. Thank you. Jancy. Jansi. Present. Ok, thank you. Eh, voy a pasar el listado otra vez. Tal, alguien no escuchó, vamos a decirlo otra vez. Ok, eh, Claudia. Edwin. Gamaliel. José Liceo. Juan Carlos. Marcela. Martín. Odmar. Present. Ah, hello, Otmar. Welcome. Thank you. Good. And Roxana. Good. That's it, right? Ahí estamos lo que estamos. Y tengo un mensaje por acá. Let me see. Eh, Jorge, compañero. Cierre el micrófono. Ah, ok. Ya, ya lo cerró. Ya cerró el micrófono, Brian. Yes. Ya, ya está cerrado, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando hay interferencias, porque o algún micrófono está mal o la señal, ¿verdad? Pero... Eh, así que tratemos de tenerlo apagado, pero igual voy a, eh, cuando hay alguna interferencia, pues aquí también se los apago yo, van a disculpar que <ríe> a veces de repente, pum, se les va a apagar, ¿verdad? Pero es porque hay alguna interferencia. Ok, let's continue, let's continue, right? Now, eh, let's go and practice this conversation. This conversation is about occupation. Listen, please, pay attention. Page 53, exercise 7, conversation. Please be careful. Listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job, and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Okay, window washer, look. He works in Torre Cuscatlán, right? Or oh, Millennial, <laughs> Millennium Plaza, yeah? Okay, window washer. So window washer is dangerous. Ooh, dangerous, of course, right? Uh-huh. But he says it's stressful. Imagine, very high, yeah? Okay, good. Listen again, please. Listen again. Page 53. Exercise 7. Conversation. Please be careful. Listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? 
It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job, and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Okay, very good. Now we're going to listen again and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Yes. Hey, Stephanie. Repeat, please. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, I hear you have a new job. I heard you have a new job. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job. And it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Okay, very good. Now, again, repeat again. Please, repeat after me. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Job. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math. I'm teaching math. At Lincoln High School. High School. Repeat this, repeat. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like it? It's similar to say in Spanish, te gusta, te gusta, right? How do you like it? Good. Repeat this, repeat. It's great. The students are terrific. The students are terrific. Terrific is positive, you know, positive. It's not, it's not terrible. No, no, no. Terrific is good, right? Terrific is good. How are things with you? How are things with you? ¿Cómo van las cosas contigo, right? How are things with you? How are things with you? Not bad. Not bad. I'm a window washer now. I'm a window washer now. You know? Really? Really is like you say, de veras? Okay. How do you like it? How do you like it? Like it. 
How do you like it? It's a stressful job. Stressful. Stressful. It's a stressful job. And it's pretty dangerous. Muy peligroso, right? Muy peligroso. Yes. Like a kindergarten teacher. Como, como el trabajo de un profesor de kinder. Pretty dangerous. Muy peligroso, right? Pretty dangerous. Yes. Please be careful. Sé cuidadoso. Tené cuidado, right? No te vas a caer del edificio. <laughs> okay. Please be careful. Be careful. Good. Now let's practice. Eh, Ana María, please. Ana María, you're going to be uh, Stephanie. Yes, in the conversation. And Brian. Brian Andrés, you're going to be Richard. Okay, are you ready? Good. One, two, three, action. Ryan? Hey, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Teach. Teach Matt and Lincoln High School. How how do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are team with you? Not bad. Uh, I am going to wash her now. You know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job and it's very dangerous. Please be careful. Okie dokie, claps. Yes, this is Doodly. Look, Doodly. Doodly saying clap to you, right? Good <laughs> job, good job, Brian. And Ana Maria, I like it. Yeah. Ok, por ahí está apoyándonos nuestro asistente. Ahí se los presento. Dudley, right? Por ahí está Dino también. <ríe> ok, good. And let me see. Christian todavía no está con nosotros. Christian. Solo Marcelo. Yes, I'm here. Ah, ok, I'm Christian. Here. Hello, Chris. Welcome to the class. Ahorita le pongo asistencia. Ok. Eh, Chris, you're going to be Richard. Okay. And eh, Daisy. Daisy, you're going to be Stephanie. Ready, Stephanie? I mean, <laughs> ready, Daisy, excuse me. Because uh, Daisy, you're Stephanie, and Chris, you're Richard, right? Ready? One, right. two, three, action. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I dance. I'm my, teaching. I, I'm teaching. I'm teaching. My, I'm Lincoln. I school. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How how are these guys do? Not bad. I'm a window washer now, you know. Ready? How well, do you like it? It's a stressful job and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Okie dokie. Now the teacher gets claps to you, right? <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Yes. Eh, don't worry about the pronunciation. Right? Ahorita no nos preocupemos mucho por la pronunciación, pero luego vamos a ir mejorando, ¿ok? And Dino, to say something. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ok. Good. Thank you. Two more students. Two more students and we finish, right? And I have eh, Dagoberto. <laughs> Dagoberto and Glenda. Dagoberto, you're Richard. And Glenda, you're Stephanie. Are you ready? Are you ready? Action. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. 
Yes, I am teach math. I am Lincoln. High school. How do you like it? He is great that the students are therapy. How, how are these with you? Not bad. I am a window washer now, you know. Really? How do you like it? It's a stressful job and it's pretty dangerous. Please be careful. Excelentoso. Nice. <laughs> okay, congratulations, congratulations, nice. Okay, now, here we have this occupation. Look, a server, like like waiters, the waiter, you know, como mesero, you know, firefighter, uh, that is a uh, bombero, right? Firefighter is the idea is com el que combate el fuego, you know, firefighter, you know, social worker, florist, and now we have a teacher, a teacher, and a window washer, la Lavador de ventana, you know, it's pretty dangerous, right? Now, we're going to practice listening, right? Vamos a practicar el primer ejercicio de escuchar. Ooh, listening, right? Okay, now here we have Monica Haizun, es un nombre coreano, you know, Kirk and Philip. Monica Haizun, Haizun, uh, something like that, algo así. Okay, Kirk. And Philip, right? What do they do? What do you do? What's, what is your occupation? Right? Vamos a escribir acá que, cuál es la ocupación, right? And what's it like? Si le gusta o no le gusta. Me gusta, pero me asusta. <laughs> okay? Si le gusta o no. Okay, ready? Listen, please. Page 53, exercise 8. Listening. It's pretty boring. Listen to four people talk about their jobs. Complete the chart with the correct jobs and adjectives. One. Where do you work now, Monica? I have a new job in a hospital. What do you do exactly? I'm a social worker. Great. What's it like? It's an exciting job. There's something new every day. Two. What do you do, Heisun? I work in an office. Really? What do you do exactly? I'm a manager. What's it like? I think that's not an easy job. No, it isn't. I have a difficult job, but I like it. Three. Where do you work, Kirk? At a store. Oh, are you a salesperson or a cashier? No, actually, I'm a security guard. Really? How do you like it? It's pretty boring. I don't like it very much. 4. Do you have a new job, Philip? I do. I work at Flowers and Things. Flowers and Things? So you're a florist? That's right. What's that like? Is it difficult? No, it's really easy. I like it okay. Okay, now again, but this time slowly, slowly, right? Now listen, please. One. Where do you work now, Monica? I have a new job in a hospital. What do you do exactly? I'm a social worker. Great. What's it like? It's an exciting job. There's something new every day. Okay, so what does Monica do? Social worker in she's a new a, hospital. Uh -huh, she is a social worker in, in a, a new... hospital. In a in a hospital, right? In Rosales Hospital. <laughs> okay, what's it like? Is good or bad? It's good. Good, right? Good. Cling. It's good. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Hey soon, hey soon. Two. What do you do, hey soon? I work in an office. Really? What do you do exactly? I'm a manager. What's it like? I think that's not an easy job. No, it isn't. I have a difficult job, but I like it. Okay, so what is 
manager in office. Manager, manager, correct. Manager, jefecito, right? Jefe, manager. Some of you are manager, right? Yes. Yes, nice. Por aquí veo Jorge como tiene hay talla de que jefe ahí en la oficina. <laughs> okay, good. Now, do you like it or no? You say yes or no? Yes. 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 Good. Manager. Jefe, right? Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, now, Kirk. Listen about Kirk, please. Three. Where do you work, Kirk? At a store. Oh, are you a salesperson or a cashier? No, actually, I'm a security guard. Really? How do you like it? It's pretty boring. I don't like it very much. Okay, so what does Kirk do? Security, security guard security. in the Se store. In a store, correct. Security guard in a store, right? He don't like it. He doesn't like it. Sorry. It's he doesn't. pretty boring. It's oh, pretty boring. it's pretty. Imagine, right? Only... Only watching people, you know, and it's not, doesn't sound attractive, right? Not good. Okay, now let's go to the last one, right? Philip, Philip. Four. Do you have a new job, Philip? I do. I work at Flowers and Things. Flowers and Things? So you're a florist? That's right. What's that like? Is it difficult? No, it's really easy. I like it okay. Uh-huh, okay. What, so what does he do? Florist. A florist, right. Florist. He's a florist. Okay, and does he like it, yes or no? Yes. 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 I like it, right? Cling. Correct, right? Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Social worker. Social worker. Manager. Manager. Security guard. Security guard. Florist. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now we're going to see another exercise. Oopsie. We're going to make another exercise. Just give me a second. Okay. Good. Here we have more occupation. Look, more occupation, right? Um, we have accountant, salesperson. Uh, we have also office uh, receptionist, nurse, manager, etc. But we're going to we're going to make an exercise here. Right? This is more complicated, but listen. <clears throat> We have three people. We have Linda, Kyle, and Wendy. Por ahí tenemos un micrófono apagado. Lo vamos a apagar ahorita. Encendido, perdón. Encendido. Lo vamos a apagar ahorita. Okay, good. So Linda, she works where? In an office or in a store? Eh, Linda is a receptionist or a doctor? Now, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle works in a hospital or in a school? Kyle is a nurse or a teacher? And finally, Wendy. Wendy, right? Que no, no vende hamburguesas. No, ella es, trabaja en otra cosa. Yes. In a hotel or in an office. She's a manager or, or bellhop. Botones. You know, botones. Bellhop. Okay. Good. Now listen to the audio, please. Unit 7 to 8, progress check. Page 57, exercise 3. Listening. Where do they work? Listen to Linda, Kyle, and Wendy talk about their jobs. Check the correct answers. 1. Where do you work, Linda? In a doctor's office. What do you do there? I'm the receptionist. I answer the phone and welcome people. How do you like your job? I love it. 2. Hey, Kyle. I hear you're not working at the hospital now. You're right. I have a new job in a school. Really? Are you teaching? No. I'm still a nurse, but now I'm a school nurse. 
Is it stressful? No, not really. Three. Hey, Wendy, where do you work? In a hotel. Oh, that's interesting. What do you do there? I'm a bellhop. I help guests with their bags. That's a lot of work. Do you like your job? I do. I have a great manager. Okie dokie. Now again. In a doctor's office. Wait, wait, wait. Here. One. Where do you work, Linda? In a doctor's office. What do you do there? I'm the receptionist. I answer the phone and welcome people. How do you like your job? I love it. Okay, so what does Linda do? I mean, where? Where does she work? Office. Office. In office. office. Good. She's a receptionist in the office or, or a doctor? Receptionist. 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 Okay, very good. Excellent also. Continue with Kyle, right? Two. Hey, Kyle. I hear you're not working at the hospital now. You're right. I have a new job in a school. Really? Are you teaching? No, I'm still a nurse, but now I'm a school nurse. Is it stressful? No, not really. Okie dokie, so where does Kai work? School. Hospital. School. School. Huh? School. School. No lo, no lo sé, Rick. Mm -hmm. School. Again. This is school. Again. Wait, wait, wait. We're it's going to listen. Good. Don't worry. Relax. We're going to listen again. Wait. Escuchémoslo otra vez. Controversy, controversy. <laughs> hey, Kyle. I hear you're not working at the hospital now. You're right. I have a new job in a school. Really? Ah, uh, I have a new job in a, a school, right? Uh -huh. Are you teaching? No, I'm still a nurse, but now I'm a school nurse. Is it stressful? No, not really. Okay, now in a school or in a hospital? In a hospital. In a hospital. Mm. Cool. Okay. Cool. I will I will uh, repeat for you, right? Veo que hay mucha controversia. It's the school. No, it's the hospital. Okay. The it's hospital. the school. Play hospital. one more time. Play one more time. time. Yeah, one more time. I hear you're not working at the hospital now. Uh -huh. You're right. I hear you are not mm. working. You are not. You're not in a hospital. No, no, right? It says. I have a new job in a school. I have a new ah, job, job in a in school. school. Okay. Cool. I have a new job in a school. Trabajo right? nuevo. Uh -huh. Really? Are you teaching? No, I'm still a nurse, but now I'm a school nurse. Is it stressful? No, not really. Okay, class, now? It's where cool. Does Kyle... It's a school. It's cool. school. It's school. school. It's school. Okay, I, I am cool. happy. Everybody says school, right? Now, he's a nurse or a teacher? Nurse. 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 Excellent. Excellent. So now, let's go to Wendy and we finish. Three. Hey, Wendy. Where do you work? In a hotel. Oh, that's interesting. What do you do there? I'm a bellhop. I help guests with their bags. That's a lot of work. Do you like your job? I do. I have a great manager. Wendy works in a hospital or in an office? The hotel. hotel. In a hotel. In a hotel. Manager? Manager? Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Now, uh, I want to check some information before I continue, right? Antes de seguir, quiero chequear alguna información. El día de ayer, eh, Marlon, Chancy y José Eliseo no podían ingresar a la plataforma, pero hoy enviamos unos mensajes y los compañeros nos estuvieron apoyando por ahí. Me pareció ver que Yancy creo que había logrado ingresar, ¿verdad, Yancy? Sí, sí, ya logré ah. ingresar. De hecho, sí, creo que, que era ver. fallo del correo. Ellos lo habían anotado mal. De, de hecho, ya terminó toda la unidad uno. Sí, ya. No. Ah, okay. Está bien, no, está bien, está bien. Ok, eh, okay. Marla. No, no, you're welcome. Eh, Marla, bueno, mira, ya yo ingresé, ya hice la primera tarea también. Y, no, hombre, si hizo la primera tarea, hubiera seguido con la segunda y la tercera. Oh, lo que pasa es que ahora pueden ir en la tarde. 
Son sí. bromas, Mario, no, no hay el problema. No, no, está bien. Está bien, solo que el, el viernes recordemos que toda la unidad 1 hay que terminarla, ¿verdad? Por favor, para todos, no sí. solo para Marlon. Okay. Sí, adelante. Y José Eliseo. Excelente, los que se adelantaron está perfecto. Eh, José Eliseo, no sé si está con nosotros. No. Ok. Bueno, espero que se logre conectar y pueda resolver también. Ok. Muy bien. <ríe> Para los nuevos estudiantes, los que se conectaron ahora y no ayer, eh, el libro del el manual se los envía al grupo de WhatsApp en un PDF, pero también está en la plataforma. Ya nos vamos a conectar a la plataforma y también les voy a enseñar por dónde, dónde pueden descargar el manual. Si pueden imprimirlo, si hay tinta ahí en casita, pues perfecto. Ahora, si no, pues hay que seguirlo virtual. Uh, además, si ya se dieron cuenta, cada día les estoy enviando un video. El video no está atado a la clase, no, no tiene nada que ver con la clase. Solo es un video para que ustedes practiquen. Los lunes les voy a mandar un video de, de vocabulario, ¿sí? Los martes les voy a mandar un video de gramática, ¿ok? Los miércoles un ejercicio de escuchar, así como el que estamos viendo aquí, ¿verdad? Solo que es acerca de una historia, la que ustedes tienen que ir contestando. Los jueves les voy a mandar una canción para que la practiquen. Y los viernes les voy a mandar un libro, un libro, un audiolibro, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen. Pero, eh, repito, esto no es evaluado, es solo para que ustedes tengan material extra y puedan practicar. Mi consejo siempre es de que todos los días practiquemos, every day, todos los días. Ahorita ustedes ya tienen un compromiso con el inglés, ya no se me pueden zafar del inglés, así que <ríe> a practicar, ¿verdad? Así que aprovechemos cualquier material, cualquier material, o algún libro, o algún video, alguna película, una canción, tienen amigos que hablan inglés, practiquen con ellos, eh, tienen amigos que juegan con ustedes en la por el Face o no, no sé, y se conectan con juegos, también practiquen inglés con ellos eh, y cualquier forma, ¿verdad? Por ahí hay algunas aplicaciones también, si quieren bájenlas. Lo importante es que ustedes practiquen su inglés y por supuesto no faltará clases para que practiquemos acá en la clase. Okay, good. Eh, ¿Hay alguna pregunta? ¿Los estudiantes nuevos o los estudiantes que estuvieron ayer también? No sé si hay alguna pregunta para poder seguir con la clase. Yes, Mario. Mario, ¿le hace falta el café este... ahí? ¿Le hace falta el café o que tiene mucho frito ahí? Sí. sí no, este, una pregunta, no, teacher. Pues. Este, Ajá, Mario. ¿Y será posible de que nos pueda compartir esos listening que acabamos de escuchar para... Para porque... practicar. ¿Qué manda? Para practicar. Sí, para, para practicar nuevamente y... Y tal vez, bueno, ese es un mecanismo mío, pero eh, tal vez le sirve a los sí. compañeros de, re, de reescribir lo que se oye. Mm, ok, va, mire. Sí, sí se puede, ¿verdad? Si no, no hay te, problema. Le tengo buenas y malas noticias. La mala ah, noticia vaya. es que, la mala noticia es que, que este video, este audio, es de un libro eh, virtual, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, es muy pesado. Porque el libro tiene videos, tiene audios, tiene. Entonces, no, no puedo mandárselos ni, 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 en, ni en Drive siquiera, ni en Google Drive no podría mandárselos. Pero eh, sí vamos a practicar muchísimo con este material, así que esa es la buena noticia. Aparte de eso, les voy a mandar, permítame, yo no sé si es mi micrófono, porque veo que Mario no me está escuchando bien, permítame. Voy a revisar la computadora si el volumen está correcto, sí, estamos bien. Uh, Mario casi no me escucha, ¿verdad? Eh, está lloviendo muy fuerte acá, teacher. Ah, ah, por eso, por eso es, eh, ok. It's raining a lot. It's raining a lot, ok, good. Entonces, le decía a Mario que, que le voy a mandar también ejercicios al grupo de WhatsApp, de escuchar, ¿sí? Para que ustedes practiquen. Entonces, eh, usted no se desconecte de la clase, que aquí vamos a estar practicando con el listening bastante, porque eso ayuda muchísimo. Y aparte de eso, ustedes practiquen con la música, con películas, con programas, con series, solo en inglés, sin traducción, sin, sub, sin subtítulos, no subtitles, no subtitles. Y si le van a poner subtítulos, que sea en inglés, en inglés el subtítulo, ¿ok? Good. Y ya, ya puede ir sacando el, el café y la semita, Mario, ya hasta ahora ya, ya es necesario. 
el café y la semita, Mario. <ríe> ok, let's continue, let's continue. Sigamos entonces. We're going to work... una, uh -huh. una pregunta. Yes, 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 yes tell me, tell me. La, la grabación de la clase siempre la estaría subiendo a la plataforma. Siempre. Para vaya. poder escuchar. Si gusta, nos vamos a ir ahorita a la plataforma para, para yo mostrarles cómo está. Permítame, aquí está la plataforma. Va, para los chicos nuevos que se conectaron ahora. Ana María, Brian. Ok. Eh, Josué también, que está ahí con nosotros, ¿verdad? Eh, esta es la plataforma. Eh, cada semana vamos a ver una unidad. Aquí, por ejemplo, está la unidad 1. Get to know someone, right? Eh, la siguiente semana vamos a ver la unidad 2, Daily Routines. Y aparte de eso, vamos a hacer un examen de medio curso. ¿Sí? Luego, en la tercera semana, vamos a ver la unidad 3. Y en la última semana, que es del del 20 de noviembre al 24 de noviembre, vamos a ver la unidad 4 y vamos a ver un examen, ¿ok? Para terminar el día lunes 27, haciendo una encuesta de Insafor, ahí terminaríamos, ¿ok? Muy bien, y por acá arriba en el menú, les va a aparecer el manual, aquí dice Students Manual, dice. ahí le dan clic, Students Manual, right, ahí me lo está abriendo, y les va a aparecer las cuatro unidades. Les aparecen las cuatro unidades. Unit 1, 2, 3, and 4. Y ahí pueden ir bajando la, la unidad que ustedes quieran. ¿Ok? Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, Jorge. Eh, con el tema de las tareas, ¿las tareas van correlativas a lo que se está viendo en cada día? ¿O yes. son variadas? Le no, pregunto no. porque yo estaba viendo la ayer, yo contesté la tarea 1 y la tarea 2, pero cuando ya vi la 3, no la contesté porque no va de acorde a lo que hemos visto. Es correcto, es correcto, man, eh, Jorge. Eh, la tarea va de acuerdo a la clase. Por ejemplo, ayer, vamos a abrir esta tarea, ahorita se las muestro. La tarea 1, ahorita lo está abriendo. Ok, la tarea 1 dice, Michelle, bueno, les voy a decir porque is a floor manager, ¿verdad? Entonces, ayer vimos oraciones afirmativas, ¿se acuerdan? Michelle is, they are, bueno, ahorita vamos a dar un repaso en el manual, por cierto. Entonces, esto va con la clase 1, ¿ve? No, no me van a decir he are o he am, sino que he is, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso va de acuerdo al a la clase de ayer. Este día vamos a ver, eh, la, en la tarea 2 vamos a ver preguntas y respuestas con el verbo to be. Y aquí está, miren, preguntas y respuestas. ¿ve? Esto es lo que vamos a ver ahora, eh, este día. Ok, solo vamos a hacer un repaso en el manual y ya nos pasamos a la clase de las preguntas y respuestas. Y el día de, de, de mañana vamos a ver el alfabeto. Y aquí le, pregun le hace preguntas del alfabeto, ¿ve? Y así, ¿verdad? Obviamente ustedes si ya tienen conocimiento del inglés pueden adelantarse, pero si no pueden ir al día, ¿verdad? Y ustedes lo deciden. Eh, la plataforma es amigable, si ustedes se equivocan pueden volverla a hacer hasta lograr el 100%, ¿verdad? Porque espero que todos tengamos el 100%. Y cada viernes vamos a ir terminando una unidad. Ok, George, Jorge, contesta eso, su pregunta, su pregunta. Así es, así es. Estamos, sí. va, estamos bien. Okay. Yo quería saber eso de que, que realmente fuéramos de acuerdo a la clase. Sí, no. por ahí vamos, vamos a ir a la par, ¿verdad? Pero como les repito, ahí pueden adelantarse, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Ya, yes. eh, yes. ok, good. ¿Alguna otra pregunta sobre la plataforma? ¿Questions? ¿No? Va, muy bien, entonces sigamos con la clase. Sigamos con la clase. Si hay alguna pregunta extra, ahí está el WhatsApp. Pueden detenerme también en la clase y preguntarme, no hay problema, ¿ok? Good. Ahora vámonos al manual. Ok, class. This is the unit number one. Get to know someone, right? Page number... Uh, page number nine, right? In the page number nine, we have some occupations. Repeat after me, please. Exercise two, page nine. Maintenance. Repeat, please. Maintenance. 
supervisor. Engineer. Floor manager. Como jefe de piso, you know? Floor manager. Truck driver. Truck driver. Secretary. Again, repeat, please. Maintenance. Supervisor. Engineer. Floor manager. Truck driver. Secretary. Okay, Griselda, please. Can you read again? Only Griselda. Repeat, Griselda. Miss Rosales Villeda. 104, 104. Miss Rosales Villeda. No, okay. Jorge, please tell me. Can you read the occupations again, please? Uh, maintenance, supervisor, engineer, floor manager, truck driver, secretary. Excellent. Also, good pronunciation. Now, here uh, the occupations are in disorder. So, what we're going to do is to put the occupations in order. In order, right? For example, number one. What is number one? Engineer. Engineer, correct. Engineer. Engineer. Good. Number two, Rolov Gramena. What is that? Floor manager. Floor manager. Good. In this in this exercise, everybody can participate, right? Todos podemos participar, okay? Floor manager. Good. Number three. Secretary. Secretary. Secretary, right? Secretary. <laughs> Secretary. Very good. Number four. Truck driver. Truck driver, right? Camionero. Camionero. Truck driver. Uh huh. Very good. And number five. Super Supervisor. 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 I, I heard you say Superman, right? But no. Supervisor. Yes. Supervisor. Uh huh. Okay. And then the last one. Maintenance. 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 Right? Maintenance. 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 Let me see. Maintenance. Por aquí hay un errorcito, permítame. Okay. Deme un segundito, please. Ok, sorry, perdón por el oso aquí. <ríe> ok, hoy sí. Ya estaba perdido. Maintenance. Right? That is correct. Ok, good. That's it, right? Now let's continue with the next page. Let's continue with the next page. Page number 10. Affirmative and negative, right? Esto es lo que vimos ayer. Now, I am, you are, he is, she is. In negative, I am not, you are not, he is not, she's not. Now, we're going to check this exercise saying uh, the complete sentence. Like Alan is, Alan are, Alan am. What is the correct one? So, uh, can you help me, please? Josué, Josué Armando, can you help me? Alan is or Alan are? Josué. Alan is. Alan is, correct. Mire, Josué, hoy se conectó y ya está en la jugada. Lo felicito. Alan is a... Truck driver. A truck driver. Thank you. ¿Ya, ya le funciona bien el micrófono, Josué? Josué, le funciona bien ahora. Lo, lo escuchamos muy bien. Gracias, sí. Ok, good, good. Thank you. La cámara después, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita estamos bien con el micrófono. Okay, now let, let's go to the next one. Eh, Juan Carlos ya se conectó. No, okay, Cristian. Cristian, number two, please. 
Number two. Ah, no, 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 oh, excuse me. Creo, creo que siempre tenemos la confusión de con el sonido, ¿verdad? Es Cristian y Crisia, ¿ok? Perdón, Cristian. Eh, sería okay. con, con Crisia. Vamos a, vamos a darle la, la oportunidad a Crisia. Si no, usted me contesta, ¿le parece? Va. Crisia. Mi Celaya Hola. Córdoba. Ajá, estaba perdida. No quería participar. Ok, vamos, Crisia. Eh, ¿Ayar o ayam? What is the correct one? Ayam. Ayam. A o um, an. An, um, correct. Eh, remember yesterday. Assembler. We, uh -huh, we say assembler. Assembler. Assembler, right? Assembler. Ensamblador, ajá. Uh -huh. So yesterday we, we say that when it's a vowel, si comienza con un sonido de vocal, yes, we say yes. an, right? An, and correct. Si, si comienza con sonido de consonante, entonces a. A truck driver. And assembly. Thank you, Christian. Thank you very much. Uh, Marcela, please, number three. Sería Michelle. R. Michelle no, is, is. Michelle R. Is. 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 Is a floor manager. A floor manager. Thank you very much, Marcela. Thank you very much. Number four, excuse me, excuse me. Number four, eh, Ernesto. Mario Ernesto, please. Ajá, Ernesto, my boss. My boss. Is not. Is not, correct, right? Is not. Um, maintenance. A maintainer, right? My maintenance. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Is not. We can also use contraction. Look, eh, Ernesto, look. We can say isn't, right? Isn't a maintenance. Okay. Thank you. Now, please, Mario, number five. Mario. En la casa de Mario está lloviendo mucho, ¿verdad? Pero Mario, Mario, 10-4, He isn't a floor manager. He's in a floor manager. Okie dokie. Nice. And last one, please. Uh, it's for Mar Marlon, right? Marlon? Number six, Marlon. Tina. Tina? Tina is an engineer. Is a or an? An. And Tina is an engineer. Engineer, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now, everybody, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Alan is a truck driver. I am an assembler. Michelle is a floor manager. My boss is in a maintenance. He isn't a floor manager. Tina is an engineer. Okay. Now, uh, maybe please, can you read all the sentences again? Read all the sentences, please. Sí. Alan is a true driver. I am an assembler. Michelle is a floor manager. My boss uh, is I man. Isen. 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 A mantenés. My my. Maintenance, maintenance. Maintenance. He is a floor manager. He isn't, he isn't. He isn't a floor manager. Tina is an energy, energy. engineer. 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 
Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, maybe. Okay, any question? No questions? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Sigamos con el manual. Okay, here's a conversation. Aquí tenemos una conversación. Ya la practicamos ayer. Now let's continue with this, right? Here we have more sentences, but in plural. In plural, right? These are singular. I am, you are, he, she is singular. Affirmative and negative, right? But now we have plural. We are, you are, ustedes, you are, right? And they are. Now, let me see. Okay. Good. So, again, we have affirmative and negative sentence. We are Irene and Cindy. Contraction, we are Irene and Cindy. Negative, we are not Irene and Cindy. Contraction, we're not Irene and Cindy. You are managers. Contractions. Your managers. You are not managers or you're not managers, right? You can also say you are in managers. Another option, right? They are colleagues. They are colleagues. They are not colleagues or they're not colleagues. Also, you can say they aren't colleagues, right? Ellos no son colegas. Good. So we have affirmative and negative. Now we're going to practice with these exercises. In this case, let me see. Martin, ya se conectó, Martin. Martin Mena. No. Sí, sí, ya me conecté. Okay, good. Thank you, Martin. Ya ahorita le pusimos ya asistencia. Eh, Martin, number one, please. They. They is or they are, Martin? They are. They are. Uh -huh. Receptionist. Receptionist. Martin, I have a question. Te, te tengo una pregunta para usted, Martin. Can I say a receptionist? ¿Puedo decir aquí a receptionist? ¿Puedo usar aquí el artículo, Martin? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, pensémoslo un poquito, Martin. Eh, cuando digo a, estoy diciendo un, uno, ¿verdad? Singular, singular, right? Yeah. Y receptionist son, ¿y singular o plural? Uh, plural. Plural, okay, good. Mm -hmm. So in this case, Martin, no, it's not possible. Here is no possible. In este caso, no es posible usar a, right? All the time with plural, never use a, right? Entonces, que nos quede en la memoria que con los plurales nunca vamos a usar a o an, okay? Only with singular. Thank you, Martin. Now, next one, please. Eh, Otmar, please. Number two. Negative, Otmar. You are in supervisors. You are, you are in supervisors. Nice, Otmar. Excelentoso, right? Good. And number three, please. Eh, Roxana, ya se conectó, Roxana. No, okay. Saúl, please. Ana and Marcos are not colleagues. Are not, right? And are we can not. say, uh -huh, we can say aren't too, right? Contract. Aren't. Aren? Col colleagues. Colleagues. Good pronunciation, Saul. Colleagues. Colleagues. That's correct. Yes, it's correct. Colleagues. Thank you. Number four, please. Yancy. We. Um. Art. Weren't account accountant accountant, accountant. accountant. repeat Account accountants accountants yes contadores right accountants Account accountants good thank you very much and now let's start with the list again eh, quiero decirles que el listado de asistencia está de acuerdo a su primer nombre y ahí vamos con el alfabeto por eso tengo a Ana María en el principio, y allá si está al final de la lista. Entonces, lo que hago para, para que participen, empiezo de arriba hasta abajo. Así que ahora vamos nuevamente con Ana María, ¿ok? Ana María, ¿ready? Number five, Ana María. We. We are. 
We are, correct. We are Carla and Sandra. Simple, right? Thank you. Now, Brian, please. Brian Andrés. Brian, hello. Hello. Eh, no le pregunté, Brian, si, eh, ¿cómo le gusta que le diga? ¿Brian o Andrés? Brian, está bien. Brian, ok, good. So tell me, please. They. They... Number six, number six. Uh -huh. Aren't. They aren't. Mm. Brian, do you think it's negative or positive? <laughs> it's positive, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, good. So they are. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. They are receptionists. Come on, everybody, repeat. They, they are, are receptionists. You aren't supervisors. You aren't supervisor. You aren't supervisors. Nice. <laughs> Susana and Marcos aren't colleagues. Susana and Marcos aren't colleagues. We are accountants. We are Accountant. uh, accountants. Uh, uh, accountants. We are Carla and Sandra. We are Carla and Sandra. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. Miss Mejia, right? Mejia. Mejia. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Vamos a seguir. Let me see. Okay, we finish. We finish this. Now, let's go to the presentation. Este era el repaso de oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas con el verbo to be. Oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas con el verbo to be. Now, let's go to the presentation. Oh, sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Estaba teniendo una situación aquí con mi niño. Ah, pero, pero todo está bien, Marlon. Sí, sí. Ok, good, good. Thank you. No problem. Siempre que hay una emergencia, no hay problema, atiendan, la verdad. Si quieren levantar para un cafecito, una, un vasito de agua, no hay problema. O hay problema ahí que no, no han comido, un sanguichito ahí, pues no, no creo que sea tan ofensivo, ¿verdad? Así que no, no hay problema. Eso sí, que estar tomando sopa en la clase creo que <risa> ya haría <ya>, ya demasiado. <risa> ok, <risa> solo emergencia ahí. Now, listen, please. Pay attention. This is the class for today. Class number two. Hasta ahorita vamos a comenzar con la clase. Class number two. Uh, yes, no questions and short answer. We already have affirmative statement. You are, he is, she is, etc. Negative. You aren't, he isn't, I am not, they aren't, we aren't, etc. And now we introduce the yes, no question. Are you Ana Maria? Yes, I am. Is he Marlon? Yes, he is. Are you Barcelonista? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Are you Aliancista? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Good, thank you. Now here we have the, the expression we use in this class. Eh, necesito que se me aprendan estas expresiones cuando me pregunten, ¿no? For example, excuse me, teacher. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? So when you don't understand, you say, teacher, ¿puedes repetirme? You know, can you repeat that? Now, how do you spell? How do you spell? Teacher, ¿cómo deletrea? How do you spell classroom, for example? Hmm? Or you say, teacher, can you speak more slowly? ¿Puede hablar un poquito más lento, please? Okay, good. And also, uh, how do you pronounce this word? Pronunciation, right? Pronunciation, how do you pronounce? Yancy, me escucha, Yancy. Hello, hello. Yancy. Bueno, creo que... Teacher, no logro escuchar lo que está diciendo. Eh, Saúl, ¿usted me escucha, Saúl? Yes, teacher. Sí, sí. Ah, bueno, entonces creo que... Yancy, creo que es su internet. 
quizás si vuelve a entrar, se sale y vuelve a entrar de la clase, quizás. Ajá. Eh, la vamos a dar esta, esta opción aquí a, a Jansen, salir y entrar nuevamente. Ok. Yancy, eh, ¿me escucha ahora, Yancy? No, no me escucha. Yancy. Ok, le, le voy a escribir, le voy a escribir. <ríe> Va, bueno. Creo que es su internet. Vale, ahí está. Yancy, ¿me escucha? Bueno, creo que ya va a intentarlo, Yancy. Vamos a ver. Si sí, es que, bueno, más ahorita que está lloviendo en todo El Salvador, me imagino que algunos tienen problemas de internet. Así que lo siento mucho. Ok, let's continue, let's continue. And then, how do you say, for example, how do you say dog in Spanish? How do you say dog in Spanish? Let me show you, right? How do you say dog in Spanish? Perro. 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 Ruff, ruff. How do you say uh, perro in English? Dog. Dog. Right? Dog. This is polar, my, my friend, you know? Okay. Uh, okay. So, Spanish English, English Spanish. How do you say impresora in English? Printer. How do you say printer in Spanish? Impresora, right? So, et cetera, et cetera. So, you can ask me when you say, no, no entiendo, teacher. How do you say this in Spanish? How do you say that in English, right? Pronunciation and spelling, right? Okay, let's continue. The objective for today is to ask others about their names occupations in their workplace. What is your, your name and what is your occupation? Okay? Now, let's start with this exercise. Conversation. Listen, please. Ana says, Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. And Carlos says, Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. And Ana says, Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Y si, Miss Diana Andrade, Diana Andrade, no, she isn't, she is Mrs. Diana Aguilar, she is the manager of the company, and Ana says, okay, and are you the supervisor, and Carlos says, no, I am not, I am a salesperson. And Ana said, thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, good. Now, oh, wait, wait a minute. I have a message here. Uh, ah, okay, good. Welcome back, Yancy. Bienvenida de nuevo, Yancy. Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me, everybody. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? Are you the supervisor? 
No, I'm not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Sa, 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 po, you know, sa, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, again, we're going to make a, a technique. Vamos a usar una técnica de pronunciar para pronunciar. So repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. Come on, repeat, repeat. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I'm a salesperson. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, now let's practice the conversation, right? Let me see. Uh, Chris, Christian? Hi. You are going to be Carlos. Right. Okay. And Daisy, you're going to be Anna. Are you ready? One, two, three. Action. Hello. I am Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me. Is Mrs. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Miss Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. Are you super are you the supervisor? Supervisor? Supervisor. No, I'm not. I'm a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Thank you so much to you. Good participation, right? Now I will have uh, Dagoberto. Gamaliel, no está Gamaliel ahora, no, ¿verdad? Sorry. Okay, Dagoberto en Glenda. Dagoberto, you're going to be Carlos. En Glenda, you're going to be Ana. Ready? Let me check the presentation, right? Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we have Dagoberto en Glenda. Action. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? Supervisor? No, supervisor? I am, no, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you, you so much, Mr. Lopez. Thank you for the conversation. Very good, nice. Now I will have Griselda and Jorge, right? Griselda, you are Anna. Jorge, you are Carlos. Ready? One, two, three, action. Griselda, ready? Ready? 
Hola. Eh, you are going to be Ana Griselda. Tengo un poco de problema con el micrófono, pero ya. Yes. No, no, we can hear you. La escuchamos perfecto. Yes, good, good. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, she's Miss Diana Andrade. No, she's she's Miss Diana Aguilar. She's the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I am salesperson. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Thank you to you, Griselda and Jorge. Good, good practice, right? Now, uh, we're going to practice with Josue and Crisia, right? Josue, you are Carlos, right? And Crisia, you are Anna. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, action. Hello, I am Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she is Mr. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is in the manager of the company. Okay. Um, are you the supervisor? No, I know. I am salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very good. Good practice, good pronunciation. Thank you very much. So the, the only thing I, I need you notice about this is the pronunciation of Miss, Miss, Mrs. Okay. and Mr. Mrs. Right? Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Look. Miss is eh, para una mujer casada o no casada, right? Miss. Z, z, miss. Ok, Mrs. es para una mujer casada, señora, right? Doña. Mrs. la señora Diana Aguilar, Mrs. Right? And Mr. is for a man, the señor López, right? So, Miss, Mrs. and Mr., right? Ok. Good, thank you very much. Now the next conversation is going to be eh, Marcela and Ernesto. Marcela, you're Ana. Ernesto, you're Carlos. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yes. Action. Hello. I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. Um, are you the survivor? Supervisor? No, I'm not. Supervisor? Supervisor? No, I know. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okie dokie. I like it. I like it. Okay, now, uh, Mario, please. You're going to practice with Marlon, right? Uh, Mario, you're going to be Ana. And Marlon, you're going to be Carlos. Are you ready? One, I'm ready. two, yes. three, action. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, no, nice to meet you, too. No, no. Okay, yes. Excuse me? Is she Miss Diana Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Miss uh, Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And uh, are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I'm salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Excellent. Also, very good. Now we have a uh, Martin, please. Martin and maybe, right? Martin, you are Carlos. Maybe you are Anna, right? Are you ready? One, two, three, action. Hello, Ayana Trujillo. Martin, 
Martín. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos López. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Miss Miss Diana Aguilar. She is the ma manager of company. Okay. And are you the super supervis supervisor? Supervisor? No. I am not. I am salesperson. Thank you so thank you you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okie dokie, thank you very much. Remember, right? Miss, Mrs. and Mr. Miss Diana Andrade, Mrs. Diana Aguilar, and Mr. Lopez, right? Okay. Now, Saul, please. You and Yancy, right? Uh, Otmar. No me lo voy a practicar con, con Ana María después, pero primero vamos a tener a Saúl y a, y a Yancy, ¿ok? Saúl, you're Carlos. Yancy, you are Ana, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Hello, I am Ana Andrade Trujillo. Hi, Ana. Hi, Mr. Carlos López. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is his Miss Diana Andrade? No. She isn't. She is a Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I am a salesperson. Thank you, you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okie dokie, Miss Alvarez Aguilar. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Barrera Rodriguez. Thank you very much. Now, uh, we have Ana Maria. You're going to be Ana. Ana? Oh, Ana. Ana Maria. <laughs> okay. And uh, Otmar. Otmar, you are Carlos. Are you ready? One, two, three. Action. Hello. I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is manager of the company. Okay. Oh. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a sales person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Very good. Congratulations. Nice. Claps to you. Claps. Aplausos ahí de parte de Dudley, ¿verdad? Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Now we're going to continue with the grammar. Ya usamos la conversación, ahora vamos a la gramática. Yes? Good. How to make yes, no question with the verb to be? You say, for example, instead of say, you are Carlos, you say, are you Carlos? They say, yes, I am, or no, I am not. Is she a manager? Yes, she is, or no, she isn't, or no, she's not. Three options, right? Yes, she is, no, she isn't, or no, she's not. Is he a supervisor? Yes, he is. No, he isn't, no, he's not. Are you colleagues? Son ustedes colegas, right? Are you colleagues? Yes, we are. Oh, no, we aren't. Or you can say, no, we're not. No, we're not. Are they service providers? Proveedores de servicio, right? Are they service providers? Yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't. Oh, no, they're not. Are your bosses here? Yes, they are. Están sus jefes acá? Yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't. Oh, no, they're not. Right? Okay, now, uh, here we have the yes, no question. ¿Por qué se llaman yes, no question? Because we say yes or no. Only two options, right? For example, it says, are you Yancy? Yes or no. Only two options. Uh, are you Yancy? I, I live in Santa Ana. In, no, 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 no. Yes or no. 
No. No. <laughs> no. No, yes, you live in San Salvador, right? Yes, yes, I know, but it's, it's a yeah. question. Yes, yeah, San Salvador. Okay. San Salvador, okay. Sibar, Sibar. Okay, so only two options, or yes or no. So you say, yes, I am, no, I am not. Yes, she is, no, she's not. Yes, he, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, please. Uh, I am going to make this, right? Uh, Brian, you are going to make all the questions, right? Brian me va a hacer todas las preguntas, okay? All the questions, Brian. Okay. And then uh, Christian is going to... Done? Wait, 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 wait. Brian, yeah. Give me a second, give me a yeah. second. Uh, and then uh, Christian... Christian, you're going to answer yes, right? Usted me va a dar todas las respuestas positivas, Christian. ¿Ok? And Daisy, okay. Daisy me va a dar todas las respuestas negativas, ¿ok? ¿Understand? So, Understood. Bra Bra Brian, the question. Eh, Christian, affirmative. And, así quedamos, ¿verdad? And, and Daisy, Daisy, the negative, right? Ok. One, right. two, three, action. Uh, are you Carlos? Yes, I am. Is she a manager? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Daisy, se nos quedó. Daisy. Hola, okay. no podía, no podía ah, abrir okay. el audio, perdón. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Come on, go ahead. No. Yo sé que se escucha entrecortado, no le escucha muy bien, perdón. Ok, eh, a, a, a mí se me oye entrecortado, Daisy. ¿A mí? Daisy? Sí. Sí. Uh, vamos a ver. Cristian, ¿y usted me escucha bien, Cristian? Yes, teacher. Sí, sí. Uh, entonces, Daisy, hágame un favor. Apague su cámara. Apague la cámara. Ok. Va, y ahora, uno, dos, uno, dos, tres, diez, cuatro, diez, cuatro. Daisy, ¿me copia, me copia? Sí, ahorita sí. Se, se ve mejor, ¿verdad? Pero no le escuché lo que me di. Vaya, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente, mire, Brian me va a hacer las preguntas, Cristian me va a responder yes, y usted me va a responder no, usted va a decir no a todo, oiga, <ríe> ok, estamos, ok, Brian, again, repetition, are you Carlos, repeat, eh, Brian, ok, are you Carlos, yes I am, Daisy, Ok, bueno, creo que está teniendo problemas con internet, Daisy. Vamos a pedir la ayuda entonces de Dice Daisy que se le apagó um, la, la computadora ahí, entonces oh. eso no le puede contestar. Ok, thank you, thank you. Por ahí está el mensaje. Thank you, eh, Jancy, thank you. Ok, Dagoberto, can you help me, Dagoberto? Yes. Yes, ok, good. So, only negative. You say no, 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 no. Ok. Brian, sorry, again, again, Brian. Ok. Uh, are you Carlos? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Uh, is she a manager? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Continue, Dago. Is she no, she's not. Supervisor? No, she's not. Dago. No, she's not. Is he, Brian? Is he? Okay, okay. Is he a supervisor? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. No, he's not. Uh, are you colleagues? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. No, we are not. Are they supervi supervised providers? Super supervisors? No. Ah, no. Provider. No, okay, wait, Brian. Okay. Service, service providers. Service providers. Uh, are they service providers? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. No, they are not. Are you bosses here? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. No, they are not. Congratulations. Thank you, right. Nos costó un poquito, pero lo hicimos. <laughs> okay. Now, look at this. This is the way you may question in English, right? With the verb to be. 
Así es como hacemos preguntas con el verbo to be. Look, are you an architect? Yes, I am or no, I am not. Only two options. Or yes or no. Yes or no. Is he an architect? Yes. Yes, he is. Or no, he is not. Is Tanya an architect? Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. This is with singular. Notice you, two, only one person, right? He and Tanya is singular. But then in this case, you, ustedes, they, and the other Jane. This is plural. So it says, are you musicians? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Are they musicians? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Are Ted and Jane musicians? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Are Christian and Dagoberto musicians? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Right. Are Dagoberto and, and Christian aliancistas? Yes, they are. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding, right? So look, this is the way we use yes, no question in English, right? Now, here we have an exercise. Look, are you musicians? Yes, we are. We are musicians, right? Uh, okay, este ejercicio estaba planificado para hacerlo en grupos, pero por el tiempo lo vamos a hacer, lo vamos a hacer en clase, todos juntos, okay? So, I need volunteers. You raise your hands and tell me, right? Lo que vamos a hacer aquí es construir la pregunta de acuerdo a la respuesta, okay? Good. Number two. No, there are no teachers. They are scientists. So what is the possible question? What is the possible question? They are teachers. Uh, okay, uh, let me see. Tengo el Marlon, right? Marlon? Marlon me contestó? Sí, okay. Marlon? Are they teachers? Are they teachers? No, they're not teachers. They're scientists. Correct. Nice. Good. Number three, please. Yes. Anne is a doctor. Yes, Anne is a doctor. What is the possible question? You are a doctor. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we, we have Anne, right? Anne is a woman. So do we use are, am, um, or is? You are a doctor? Mm, no, but because... Anne, when Anne I, is a Anne, doctor. And uh -huh, it's but, a doctor. But the question, but the question, is what is the Anne question? Is Anne a doctor? Uh -huh. Is, is Anne a doctor? Anne, is Anne a doctor? Yeah, remember when we make question with, are you? The answer is, yes, I am, right? When I say, is he? Yes, he is. And when I say, is Anne? Yes, Anne is a doctor, right? Okay, okie dokie. Number two, four. No. Helen is an architect. She is not a writer. She is not a writer. No es una escritora, es un arquitecto. So what is the possible question? Esta sí está difícil. Vamos a ver. Helen is an architect. Helen is or is Helen? Is Helen a writer? Is Helen a writer? Correct. Is Helen a writer? Give me a second. Helen a writer? Is Helen a writer? Uh, no. Helen is an architect. She's not a writer. No, 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 no es una escritora. Ella es una arquitecta, right? Okay, good. Number five. Yes, I'm a pilot. So what is the question? You are the pilot? You are no. Look. No. How are you? Are you? Are you, are you a, a pilot? Are you a pilot? Are you a pilot? Very good. Yes, I'm a pilot. And number six. No, we're not flight attendants. We're pilots. So what is the question? Aquí sí está un poco complicado porque eh, cuando contestamos nosotros, ¿cómo es la pregunta? Are you? Are you? They, son ustedes. Are they? Are they? Okay, are they? But, no, no, no. They no. know. It's you. Porque She... cuando yo pregunto, tú, are you, contesto con, yes, I am. Pero también el you significa ustedes. Son ustedes. 
flight attendants? Are you, Are flight you attendants? A, fl a flight attendants? Entonces, ¿cómo contesto? ¿Cómo voy a contestar? Eh, no. Nosotros no somos aeromosos, somos pilotos, nosotros. Entonces, hay dos opciones. Cuando yo pregunto Are, con you, ¿puedo contestar we? singular? Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. O puedo contestar plural. Are you a teacher? O are you teachers? Yes, we are. En este caso, Flair Atena estamos preguntando ustedes, right? Are you flight attendants? Attendants? Ok, no, we're not flight attendants. We are pilots. No, no sé si me explico o los dejé confundidos. Voy a poner I otro... understand. Ok, good. Voy a poner otros ejemplos para que terminemos de entenderlo bien. Ok, yo puedo preguntar, are you a student? Decir, ¿Eres tú un estudiante? Are you a student? And then, me están diciendo, si eres un estudiante, contesto con, yes, I am. O puedo decir, no, I am not. No, I am not, right? Pero cuando digo, are you students? Estoy preguntando, son ustedes estudiantes, right? And then, sure. uh, Just give me a second. Solo termino aquí. Okay. Yes, we are. Or no. We're not, right? We're not. Entonces tengo dos posibilidades. Cuando digo you, puedo contestar con yo soy. O cuando digo you, es nosotros somos. Ok. En el caso de las seis, es, sería ustedes, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Excuse me, ahora sí. The question. No, no sé si me equivocaré, pero... Tendrá que ver por la A que va ahí en Are you a uh -huh. student? Yes, correct. It's singular. Okay. Every time we use A, cada vez que usamos el artículo A o an, o cuando decimos one, <laughs> it's singular, it's singular. All the time it's singular, all the time. So we, you answer, yes, I am or no, I am not. But in <coughs> the case of students or flight attendants, it's plural. So we say, no, we're not, right? Okay, now let's practice. Let's practice. Let me see. Let's practice. Question and answer. Question and answer. Right, let's begin with donde nos quedamos. Eh, con Brian, Daisy y Dagoberto, ¿verdad? Okay. So, Glenda, please. Glenda, question number one. Griselda, answer number, number one. Glenda A, Griselda... No, no. Griselda B, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, uh, Jorge, question. Josue, answer. Number two. Number two. Are there teachers? Are they, they your teachers? Ah, Josué, Josué, let it be, Josué. Ok, no sé si me confundí, voy a, repetir. Sí, sí, voy, a, voy a repetir, voy a repetir. Jorge, letter A. Josué, letter B. In number two, right? Ok, one, okay. two, three, action. Are they teacher? Josué? No, no, they are no teacher, they are scientists. 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 Good. Thank you, Josué. Thank you, Jorge. Now, uh, Crisia, A in number three, and Marcela, B, number three. Crisia? 10 cuatro, diez cuatro, Miss Elaya Córdoba, Miss Elaya Córdoba. Okay, so Marcela and Ernesto. Marcela, A, Ernesto, B. I am a doctor. No, no, no. Is an? Is an a doctor? Yes, an is a doctor. Good. Thank you. Mario, number four, letter A, Mario. And Marlon, letter B. Is, is an a doctor? No, number four, number four. Is Helen a writer? No. Helen is an uh, architect. She is not a writer. Okie dokie. An architect. Notice that is an, right? Uno. 
Ah, right, uno, right? It's just one, right? Okay, very good. Now, uh, Martin, your A, and maybe B, number five. Martin A, maybe B, in number five. Ok, give me a second. Vamos a apagar un micrófono por acá. Ok, yes. Hoy sí. ¿Estamos listos, Martín? Martín, you are A. And maybe B in number five. Ready? Martín. Ok, so maybe you are A. Entonces usted va a hacer la letra A, maybe. And Otmar, letter B, number five, number five. Maybe. Hello, hello. Are you a, a pilot? A pilot, uh -huh. A pilot. Otmar? Otmar, nos copia, Otmar. ¿Será que no, se nos cayó el internet a varios por acá? <ríe> Otmar. Ok, Saúl, please help me. Repeat, maybe. Repeat the question. Maybe. Number five, please, letter A. Eh, me copian. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, pensé que era yo, yes, no sé que, es que se nos... Maybe, me escucha, maybe. Hello. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, sí. repítame la pregunta, repítame la pregunta y esta vez me, nos va a contestar Saúl, ok? Come on. Ok. Are you a pilot? Yes, I'm a pilot. 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 Pilot, yes, Absolutely. very good. Pilot, pilot. Ok, Jancy, you make the question and Ana María, the answer, number six. Hello, Saúl. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Listen, ah, no, 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 sorry, excuse me. No, no era como usted, Saúl, sorry. Era Yancy, okay. Yancy, excuse me. <ríe> es que lo que pasa es que no sé, que le pregunto a alguno, creo que el internet ha bajado. No sé, antes que estaba escribiendo. <ríe> ah, ok. Yancy, Jan you make the question. And Ana María, the answer, number six. Ok. Are you... Frank attend. Attendance? Attendance. Ana María? No. We're not fly attendants. We're pilots. Okay. Okay. Very good. The interaction is difficult, right? The interaction is difficult. But yes, we finish. We finish. Now. Let me erase everything here. Okay. Eh, esta no lo vamos a hacer por falta de tiempo. Vamos a mostrarles solo un material. Después pasamos listado. Eh, para los eh, que este día se conectaron, ¿verdad? Brian, eh, Josué, eh, Ana María, eh, este, Daisy también. Eh, quiero recordarles que Aparte de la clase, vamos a estar dando una entrevista de 10 minutos eh, por, cada, por cada clase, ¿verdad? El día de ayer, pues, nos quedamos con, eh, con Claudia, ¿verdad? Y ahora le tocaría el turno a Ana María. Serían 10 minutos extra después de la clase. Ana María, no sé si, si puede quedarse conmigo 10 minutos extra. Yes. Yes, ok, thank you, thank you very much. Good. Aquí ya la agendamos, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a ver un material y después paso lista y terminamos la clase, ¿ok? Just give me a second. Here is... Very good. Vamos a repasar aquí. Ok. Okay. 
The verb to be, right? Affirmative, negative, and question. Listen, please. Page 5, exercise 9. Grammar focus. The verb be. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Stephen is over there. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. Are you Stephen Carson? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. How are you? I'm fine. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. Okay, so here we have the three situations. Right? Affirmative, we say I am Jennifer Miller. I am Javier Gomez. I am uh, Ana Maria Martinez, for example, right? And then you are in my class. You're in the park. You're your uh my friend for example right she is in our class he's over there it's miller's so we use the pronouns i you he she it they we right according to the verb to be right and then we say i am he is she is it is you are they are and we are and then when we make questions Instead of say you are, you say are you? Are you Stephen Carson? And it says yes, I am or no, I am. Not. It's two options, right? Only two options. Okay, good. So I don't know if you have any extra question. Hay alguna pregunta extra? No question. No questions. Tomorrow we're going to make a review, right? Mañana vamos a hacer un, un pequeño repaso. Tomorrow I'll... Eh, good. Eh, a Marlon se le fue la energía, pero ya está por acá, ¿verdad, Marlon? Ok, no problem. Ok. Now. El día de mañana vamos a hacer un repaso sobre las preguntas de sí, ¿no? Y unos ejercicios para que ustedes eh, practiquen. ¿sá? Cómo hacer las preguntas en inglés usando el verbo to be. ¿Ok? That's it. Voy a pasar listado, entonces. Y nos quedamos solo con Ana María, ¿ok? Give me a second. Ok. Say present. Here I am, etcétera, etcétera. Right? Ok. Now, Ana María. Present. Good. No se me vaya a ir, Ana María, y me espera. Eh, Brian. Brian. Present, present. Okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Brian. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Claudia. Se logró present. conectarse. Okay, very good, Claudia. Un poco tarde, pero logró conectarse, ¿verdad? Okay. See you tomorrow, Claudia. Bye bye. Eh, Daisy. Present. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Christian? Here, teacher. Okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, Christian. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Dagoberto? Present. Good night. Okay, good night. Gris Glenda? Present. Okay, have a good night. Good Griselda? Bye. Good night. Present. Gris okay, bye bye, Griselda. See you tomorrow. Jorge? Present. Ok, bye bye. José bye Liceo. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. José Liceo. Josué. Present. Ok, a pleasure. See you tomorrow, José. Bye bye. Juan Carlos. Crisia. Marcela. Hi, hola. Okay, see you tomorrow, Marcela. See Have a good tomorrow. night. Bye bye. Good night. Ernesto. 
Present, teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye, teacher. Mario. Present, teacher. Good okay. night. Good night. Have a good night. Marlon. Good night, teacher. Okay, goodbye. Take care. Martin. Martin. Maybe. Present. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow, maybe. Otmar. Good night. Good night. Otmar. Present. Okay, Present. bye bye, Otmar. See you tomorrow. Take care. Saul. I am here. Okay, good. See you tomorrow, Saul. God bless Good night. You. Good night. Jancy. Present. Okay, see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Okay. Now, welcome to the class. Ana María, bienvenida a la clase. Permítame un segundo que tengo unos mensajes aquí. Acá estoy. A Marlon, sí. Osmar también. Y Marcela. Ok. Good. Uh, ¿Qué le ha parecido la clase, Ana María? Fácil, difícil. <risa> difícil, ¿no? Un poquito. Un poquito. Aquí está Dubli que le puede ayudar. Mire, hello. <risa> ok, este, bueno, como, quizás como ayer no se pudo conectar, ¿verdad? Pero ayer este, sí. como hicimos la introducción y, y, y ¿cómo se llama? Practicamos sí, así la... estuve revisando la, la grabación. Ah, revisó la grabación, muy bien. Sí, sí. Se me olvidó decirles a los compañeros que ahí estaba la grabación. Y, bueno, hay mañana. Pero igual, ¿verdad? Ahí se puede consultar. Si usted no se, se pierde una clase, espero que ya no se pierda ninguna otra, pero Primero ahí puede, puede consultar ahí, ¿verdad? Y, y repasar. Sí, es que a veces por la conexión, <risa> más con estas lluvias, sí, está bien un... inestable el internet. En la unión me dijo que vivía, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, es bastante lejos, ¿verdad? Pero bien, primero Dios que ya no pase esta lluvia el día de mañana y ya tengamos más Primeramente estabilidad. Primeramente Dios que sí. Sí, porque ahora sí está un poco fuerte. Todavía aquí en San Salvador sí. está, está algo fuerte también. Sí, ya hoy de las siete en adelante ha estado lloviendo más fuerte. Y lo peor de todo es que había una combinación de frente frío y la lluvia. Entonces, la lluvia. Estamos temblando de frío. <risa> Muy bien. Claro. este ¿Hay algún tema, alguna... Eh, parte de la clase que no no haya entendido y que quisiera que le explicaran estos diez minutos Ana María en la de afirmativa y la y la negativa si Ajá. quiere le voy a abrir el, el el cómo se llama el el que vimos ayer sí el que vimos ayer ¿Más? y medio ahí lo repasamos verdad pero permítame déjeme cerrar aquí vamos a cerrar esta, esta presentación y aquí estamos. Ahorita, inglés corporativo, clase número uno. Ahí la está abriendo. Ok. Y está ya. Ahorita se la comparto, Ana María. Permítame que esto. Ok, por aquí estamos. Bueno, este, el, las oraciones afirmativas, básicamente usted tiene, lo que tiene que aprenderse, Ana María, es, permítame, le digo, tiene que aprenderse la combinación de los pronombres con el verbo to be. Y para que se las aprenda, le voy a poner un cuadrito, ahí si usted quiere hacerle captura de pantalla, pues puede hacerlo si quiere. Vaya, mire, eh, en inglés tenemos lo que se llama la primera persona. First person, right? La primera persona, que es la persona que habla, ¿sí? Sí. Está la segunda persona, second person, y la tercera persona, third person, right? La segunda persona es de quién hablamos, ¿sí? De quién hablamos. No, perdón. La vamos a decir otra vez. Primera persona es la persona que habla. Segunda persona es la persona que escucha, sería la que escucha. Y la tercera persona es de quién hablamos. De quién es la plática, ¿verdad? Habla, escucha, ajá. Correcto. El que habla, el que escucha y de quién se habla. 
Eh, tenemos las la que son las singulares, singular. Y tenemos las que son plurales. Plural, right? Ahí está el cuadrito, mire. La, la primera persona singular soy yo. Yo, ¿verdad? Yo soy el que hablo. Sí. La segunda persona es tú o, o, o usted o vos, ¿verdad? Como decimos aquí en El Salvador. Ajá. Y la tercera persona, ¿de quién hablamos? Puede ser she, he o it, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Muy bien, entonces, cuando es plural, decimos nosotros, porque nosotros estamos hablando, nosotros. We. Ustedes. Recuérdense que el you quiere decir tú y también quiere decir ustedes. Y they. Estos son los plurales, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Entonces, hay tres formas del verbo to be. Um, are. Eh, is. Ahí está, lo vamos a hacer un poquito más para allá para que se entienda. Is. Y en la forma del plural, todos son are, ¿verdad? Are. Are. Y are también. Aquí usted se puede ubicar, mire, Ana María. Eh, con el I es fácil porque es I am. Solo, solo con el I usamos el am. Eh, con el he, she, and it usamos is y de ahí con todos los demás, con you, we, they, con todos los demás usamos el are ya, entonces eso tiene que quedarse así ¿va? yo le pregunto a Ana María I, am, he, is they, are tiene que quedarse así en la memoria, si quiere hacerle una captura de pantalla si quiere, ¿verdad? Si no, pues ahí va a quedar en la clase también y lo puede repasar, no hay problema. Ok. Además, este, este se los envié ayer también, me parece, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp, no sé si usted lo, lo logró ver, pero ahí está. Ok. Luego, tenemos oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas con eso. ¿Qué es lo que, lo que está ahorita en la pantalla? Ahorita se lo pongo, permítanme. Borramos esto. Y aquí están las oraciones afirmativas. Miren, I am Natalie. O podemos usar contracciones y decimos, I'm Natalie. You are a secretary. You're a secretary. He is an engineer. He's an engineer. She is a floor manager. She's a floor manager. Aquí usamos am, are, and is. Miren, en afirmativo, ¿verdad? Hicimos un ejercicio ayer, pero fue corto, ¿verdad? Y luego nos pasamos a las oraciones negativas. Para decir una oración negativa, solo agregamos la palabra not. Not. Así de sencillo. Not. En lugar de decir I am Natalie, I am not Natalie. ¿no? Y podemos usar contracciones. Mire, you are not a secretary. You are not a secretary. O puede decir también you are in a secretary. He is not an engineer. He is not an engineer. O he is in an engineer. ¿Ok? Esas son las oraciones negativas. Aquí hicimos un ejercicio también. Practicamos una conversación. Y aquí también practicamos con las oraciones en plural. Todas llevan ar, mire, ar, 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 todas llevan ar. We are, you are, they are. Nosotros, ustedes y ellos. Podemos usar contracciones también. En lugar de decir we are, decimos we are. Your there. E igual también tenemos oraciones negativas. Mire, Ana María, we are not Irene and Cindy, o we are not Irene and Cindy. You are not managers, you are not managers. O también puede decir si quiere, mire, aquí vamos a agregarle si quiere, vamos a ponerle. You aren't managers, ¿eh? Es otra posibilidad, ¿sí? They are not colleagues. They're not colleagues. También aquí agreguemos, si quieren, miren. They aren't colleagues. 
¿Ok? Entonces esas serían las oraciones afirmativas y negativas usando el verbo to be. Pequeño repaso nada más, ¿verdad? De unos minutitos. <ríe> Pero no sé si le queda más o menos claro o... Sí, hoy sí, teacher. Sí, ¿verdad? Thank you. Puede, puede eh, ver la grabación nuevamente si quiere, pero como le digo, este, básicamente es de que usted se memorice eh, cuál forma el verbo to be va con, el, con, con determinado pronombre. Por ejemplo, I am, you are, he, she. Ya me usted Por ejemplo, la... todos los, los plurales. Plurales. Plural, ¿no? plural, plu, plu. Tengo que agregarle are. Ah, Ajá. correcto. Y todos los singulares is. Is. Se me olvidó explicarle eso. Qué bueno que me lo recordó. Por ejemplo, si digo ahorita, ¿verdad? Digo, my friends, mis amigos, are in the park. Entonces, are. Pero si digo, uh -huh. mi amigo, my friend, he, he is, is in, the, in the house. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? En todos los singulares is y en todos los plurales are. Así de sencillo. ¿verdad? Y de ahí los pronombres que ya le dije yo cómo aprendérselo, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Y mi consejo, Ana María, es que ya que agarró este compromiso con el inglés, tiene que practicar todos los días. Yo les envío un video para que lo practiquen todos los días, ¿verdad? Es unos 5, 10, 15 minutos lo más que pueda practicar y le va a servir muchísimo. ¿verdad? Así es que es mi consejo. Apréndase una canción a la semana. Si tiene Netflix, HBO Max o Disney o cualquier aplicación, vea películas en inglés. Le aseguro que le va a servir muchísimo. Y mi consejo es que sean películas de, de muñequitos. Oiga, de muñequitos para que <ríe> ahí hablan clarito. Así que al principio le va a costar, pero, pero después si usted mire, es todo cuestión de ver. Ponerle disciplina y trabajo. Sí, correcto. Ok, Ana María, ¿alguna pregunta extra? No, todo, todo claro. Bueno, ok, very good. Entonces, despidámonos aquí con Dudley. Está. <risa> <risa> bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night.